Well, last night's episode certainly didn't have as much action as a lot of the other episodes of Season 5, but it did have some very interesting flashbacks. We'll be back right after this. What is going on, everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and we are back. And uh, we are going to be talking about the episode 6 consumed of The Walking Dead Season 5 uh, with some advanced warfare gameplay and of course pictures in the background like always. This is just some exo survival if you were uh, wondering because um, basically um, this is part of the video that I did yesterday but this is a separate part of the exo survival so it's like a little bit after our, uh, the video that I recorded. But anyways, we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead here now. In yesterday's video, I mentioned that tomorrow's video was going to have a surprise, and I for to completely forgot about this series uh, as of yesterday when I recorded that video. So the video that I was talking about that's going to have a surprise in is going to be the one that's probably going to be going up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So just wanted to make that clear. But we are going to be talking about The Walking Dead Episode 6, and as you know... Uh, throughout the series, we talk about basically, you know, like things that happened within the episode and my thoughts on it, uh, depending on what it was. Now, this episode wasn't a big episode. It wasn't like one of the, um, like, I guess you could say it wasn't like a premiere episode of The Walking Dead, which, you know, happened obviously the first episode. Like, that was just completely crazy, and there was just so much stuff to talk about. There's not really lots to talk about in this episode, but I don't think it was a bad um, sort of episode. The worst one that I think in the season uh, so far is probably episode four and nothing like i mentioned in that episode nothing against like beth or anything like that it's just that it was just so drawn on it's like one of those walking dead episodes that are just drawn on too far and uh, it really you didn't really need to watch it to make anything happen but this one was actually really cool and i'm gonna get into the cool part my favorite part about the episode uh as we continue on so first off it cuts back, well first off the beginning of it starts showing Carol's flashbacks and uh, you know it seems like now they're doing a lot of flashbacks within The Walking Dead you know it's it's not like before where uh, there was, I mean obviously now they have more chances to show off flashbacks because the show is continuing on more versus you know if it was season 2 there's not really uh, much of a point to show a flashback you know because it wouldn't really go back that far but you know now since we're in season 5 we can show flashbacks and uh, see, basically it showed Carol from like season four and it showed um you know how it was like it started off with her uh, how rick kicked her out of the prison and like what she did after that it was just a nice little uh thing to get back into you know what happened with carol so i'm glad that they did that you know it wasn't just like hopping right in but anyways then we hop right in and uh, we're ba they're basically driving down the road in the car that they stole the last time, heading after that uh, other car down the road, uh, because, y you know, obviously Daryl was trying to look for Beth, and, uh, you know, he knows that this place has to have her, because... It's just like the same exact kind of car with the cross on the back of it that happened before in season four when they got separated. So they start going back after them. You know, they're they're riding along the road and they know they're obviously heading towards um, Atlanta at that point. Or well, I mean, I know we all know that they're heading towards Atlanta because that's where Beth, we already saw the Beth episode, so they're in Atlanta. But for Daryl and Carol, it's like uh, you know, oh wow, we're heading towards Atlanta again. And as they're going up, I'm going to show this picture now. It's it's just like mind boggling. I'm going to actually show the season one uh, picture of it and then the uh, the season five picture. Just uh, like I I don't even know what to uh, say from this picture. Looking at it, so they're on the same exact highway that they filmed back in season one uh this it is it, it was just an uh, amazing moment when i saw it i was like damn like that like that's just pretty cool the effects that they could put on it um i, I don't even know how to explain it you could just look for yourself it's just, and think for yourself because it's just like how like it i don't even know okay that that's how astounding it was when i first saw it uh, pretty damn cool how they could uh, do those effects and make it look like that and look like it's aged over a couple of years and uh, so that's basically the end of that picture so they head into Atlanta and there's also another picture in there which I'm amazed but I I don't know if I'll have a picture of it because I don't really want to go looking for an hour for a picture of a tank but um so they're heading down and uh, you know they the car basically stops it basically keeps going but they basically needed a place to hide or not really hide but you know uh, take cover from overnight because it, you know if you're out in the city it's dark time there you know nighttime not dark time what am I talking doesn't make sense it's nighttime and you know they need a place 
to you know kind of stay so I think they found like some place that I believe it was some place that Carol knew of or something like of that nature. But, the, you know, I'm not going to really talk about this part because all they show him doing is like going to sleep and then waking up is uh, the better portion part of it. So, you know, then they wake up and they continue along their journey. And, you know, they're they're kind of like scavenging through supplies. They're not really like scavenging all the way. But most of the rest of this episode for like the middle meat chunk of the video or the uh, episode, I mean to say, is the part when, you know, they're kind of going around between buildings trying to figure out how what's the best way to get to this sort of area that, um, you know, that Beth is being like held in. And, you know, then it's like, okay, well, we could look through here. So they end up finding this, like, van that they were trying or that they were going to end up getting to. And um, so they end up, you know, trying to get to this van. And along the way, actually, I think it's at this point either that or it's, like, when they're going in. But it's one of the times when they're crossing the street that they find this, like, you know, it shows, like, an image for maybe a couple seconds of a tank in the middle of the road. And I'm not sure if this complete... I mean, I know that, obviously, the season one tank that, uh, you know, obviously that Rick almost like it was like the main focus point of season one where rick almost died underneath the tank i don't know if that's the same exact tank that they showed in there but it definitely looked like it and it looked like the street too that it was on so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that it looked very much like they showed a flashback of the same tank that rick was in in season one that's just even more mind-boggling and uh you know they did say on the talking dead way when the first episode came out that there was going to be season one flash or not not really season one flash so there was definitely going to be some, you know, going back to different sort of places. And, uh, yeah, this really just blew some people's minds. It definitely blew my mind, uh, you know, when I saw this. So, you know, they're heading across. And basically, I'm going to skip to the part where, you know, they're trying to get through these different uh, doors. And Noah, the um, the kid who escaped but Beth didn't in the uh, fourth episode, you know, um, I guess he's not really like a kid. He's more of like a teenager, but he tried to escape. And he actually got it out. He stops uh, D Carol and Daryl. I mean, to say, I was about to say Beth, but then I was like, no, that's wrong. He stops Carol and Daryl on their way, uh, you know, crossing this bridge. And he basically takes their weapons and, uh, you, and, you know, uses them as a defense. Because all he knows, he I don't even think he's been out uh, of this, you know, apocalyptic area. He's probably been uh, kept in that hospital-ish area for... A very long time so he you know he doesn't know what to do in this world so he needs to try and you know be aggressive uh, much aggressive as he can be and in doing that you know he did that and then afterwards Daryl and Carol end up I'm trying to think if I missed anything because I don't want to jump the gun but basically you know they go across and the one another main part was would they actually get to the van they're you know they're being swarmed by a horde of, of uh, walkers and there's no weapons in there because he took Noah took their weapons so they don't have any weapons you know they're they're basically only down to uh, melee weapons and uh, so they get in the van and it's like hanging off of the cliff and they end up plummeting down luckily surviving and uh, that's and you know it's like that's pretty amazing right there that they fell I don't even know how long the jump was it seemed like the jump or the uh, the length of the fall was a pretty well distance but the van definitely did smash but they exited that um, you know, th that's basically that, uh, then they run into Noah again, I believe after that, because it was after the fact of them doing that, and, yeah, because Carol was limping after that, and that's when they found Noah again, so, uh, they end up doing that, and Carol, or, Daryl wants to leave Noah when he, when a book, when he smashes the bookshelf into him, trying to, like, barricade through, you know, the door, so, he gets trapped, Carol feels bad for him because he's just a kid, basically. I mean, he, I don't know, he's not really a kid, but he looks more like a teenager type of, uh, thing. Uh, not, not like an alien, like, thing. Like, I meant, like, an actual, like, you know, like a teenager type of thing, not like an actual thing. You, you know, you get it. So he looks more like a, uh, teenager than a, uh, kid. But basically, 
Daryl ends up saving him from the walker that tries to come in through the door, and um, you know, and then what happens is that you know they they walk off together because they uh, Daryl asks if you know he knows uh, a a blonde girl I guess how you would say it like and then Noah says Beth and uh, you know they they continue on their ways I guess they are now allies even though uh, you know Noah was being aggressive at the beginning but now we have to see what goes also at the end. I forgot to mention, um, at the end of this episode, you know, I guess they're crossing because the one car that happens to be stroming Atlanta is just, you know, roaming right around Atlanta, and Carol runs into it and just gets hit by the only car that's driving around. Uh, it, that that was, uh, I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a sad moment, like, oh, you know, Carol got hit by a car. But, you know, I mean, at the time when I saw it, I was actually laughing uh, just because... Uh, it was like, I don't even know, like, it seemed like it was, um, I don't know the correct word for it, it seemed like it was too fake, uh, not like the video editing, not that, the video editing, I mean, it was obviously good, but it seemed like it was just, like, you know, too fake to believe that, you know, she actually got hit by a car, and she, like, she literally went flying when that happened, like, it wasn't like this little, like, oh, she got hit and she fell down, she hit, she got hit, rolled over the windshield, and, it, like, instantly, like, fell, like, like 20 feet in front of the car like yeah like that was just insane i thought she died on impact imagine if they ended carol's life uh <laughs> she she fights for years trying to like stay alive and she dies by the only car that's roaming around atlanta on impact that would be <laughs> that would be terrible but you know i mean uh i mean if it was like a parody i could see that being a funny thing but Obviously, that would be terrible, but anyways, I'm getting carried on, so she gets hit by the car, and that's basically the end of the episode, you know, Daryl and Noah are now together, and uh, we have to find out what is going to happen in next uh, week's episode. Uh, we I've seen some pictures of next week's episode uh, from because sometimes like I get these pictures that I post here from AMC um, themselves like the website I don't like Google search and find these uh, images I get like a high res image from AMC himself and they posted two pictures they always usually post around one or two pictures from the next episode. And uh, it looks like obviously Rick is going to be back in it from what I could tell because Rick's. Uh, you know, Rick is pointing a, a pistol at we don't know what. So, you know, Rick is obviously going to be in the next episode. So could they be possibly cutting back to the point where Daryl comes back with a suspect or person unknown, which we still don't know yet, which probably my guess right now is probably that it's probably going to be Noah. I know I just said probably like 50 times, but my guess now it's probably Noah because, you know, it just makes sense if we add all the clues together. Daryl, you know, they ran into Noah. They took his guns. Now they're together. They're trying to get Beth. Um, they could have tried, but maybe Daryl said, no, we can, it, you know, if we want to get Beth back, we can try and do better. And maybe Daryl was like, you know, oh, well, I think that it would be a good idea to go back to our group because we have a group that we were with. And if we get these people, maybe we could do it better than with just ourselves because we're too weak. And maybe, you know, it was like, all right, I'll agree to that. So, you know, Daryl was like, all right, come on out. It's all it's OK because we don't I don't want you to, you know, maybe that was that's my best guess of who it is. I doubt it's probably anyone else. It's obviously not Morgan. It's so don't think that. I mean, it'd be pretty cool. We, we saw Morgan. So he's definitely coming back. You know, he's definitely coming back in season five uh, sometime. It could probably be after the uh, the midseason finale, or it could be before, who knows, maybe in episode eight. But uh, it's not Morgan that's with Darrow. It could be the Morales. I still have some sort of hope that it's them. But most likely, like 90%, probably more of the chance, it's probably Noah uh, hiding in those bushes. So leave a comment on what you think. Who is still in those bushes? We'll probably end up finding out next week because uh, obviously we know that Rick is probably going to be in it from what I can tell. And uh, so, you know, Daryl, it obviously cuts back to when Daryl, uh, you know, comes back with suspect or person unknown, which we are probably going to end up finding in next week's episode, which I keep mentioning. So... If you did like this episode of The Walking Dead Thoughts and uh, would like to see more, you can subscribe, like the video if you did enjoy, especially for some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content along the way. I'm Ninja Geek. I'll see you on whatever my next video happens to be. I'm out. Peace.